Ezekiel chapter 21 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Jerusalem and preach against the sanctuary. Prophesy against the land of Israel and say to her, This is what the Lord says, I am against you. I will draw my sword from its sheath and cut off from you both the righteous and the wicked. Because I am going to cut off the righteous and the wicked, my sword will be unsheathed against everyone from south to north. Then all people will know that I, the Lord, have drawn my sword from its sheath. It will not return again. Therefore groan, son of man. Groan before them with broken heart and bitter grief. And when they ask you, Why are you groaning? You shall say, Because of the news that is coming. Every heart will melt with fear, and every hand grow limp. Every spirit will become faint, and every leg will be wet with urine. It is coming. It will surely take place declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy and say, this is what the Lord says. A sword, a sword sharpened and polished, sharpened for the slaughter, polished to flash like lightning. Shall we rejoice in the scepter of my royal son, the sword despises every such stick. The sword is appointed to be polished, to be grasped with the hand. It is sharpened and polished, made ready for the hand of the slayer. Cry out and wail, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against all the princes of Israel. They are thrown to the sword along with my people. Therefore beat your breast. Testing will surely come. And what if even the scepter, which the sword despises, does not continue, declares the Sovereign Lord? So then, son of man, prophesy and strike your hands together. Let the sword strike twice, even three times. It is a sword for slaughter, a sword for great slaughter, closing in on them from every side so that hearts may melt with fear and the fallen be many. I have stationed the sword for slaughter at all their gates. Look, it is forged to strike like lightning. It is grasped for slaughter. Slash to the right, you sword, then to the left, wherever your blade is turned. I too will strike my hands together, and my wrath will subside. I, the Lord, have spoken. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, mark out two roads for the sword of the king of Babylon to take, both starting from the same country. Make a signpost where the road branches off to the city. Mark out one road for the sword to come against Rabbah of the Ammonites, and another against Judah and fortified Jerusalem. For the king of Babylon will stop at the fork in the road, at the junction of the two roads, to seek an omen. He will cast lots with arrows. He will consult his idols. He will examine the liver. Into his right hand will come the lot for Jerusalem, where he is to set up battering rams, to give the command to slaughter, to sound the battle cry, to set battering rams against the gates, to build a ramp, and to erect siege works. It will seem like a false omen to those who have sworn allegiance to him, but he will remind them of their guilt and take them captive. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you people have brought to mind your guilt by your open rebellion, revealing your sins in all that you do, because you have done this, you will be taken captive. You profane and wicked prince of Israel, whose day has come, whose time of punishment has reached its climax. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Take off the turban, 
Remove the crown. It will not be as it was. The lowly will be exalted, and the exalted will be brought low. A ruin, a ruin. I will make it a ruin. The crown will not be restored until he to whom it rightfully belongs shall come. To him I will give it. And you, son of man, prophesy and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says about the Ammonites and their insults. A sword, a sword, drawn for the slaughter, polished to consume and to flash like lightning. Despite false visions concerning you and lying divinations about you, it will be laid on the necks of the wicked who are to be slain, whose day has come, whose time of punishment has reached its climax. Let the sword return to its sheath. In the place where you were created, in the land of your ancestry, I will judge you. I will pour out my wrath on you and breathe out my fiery anger against you. I will deliver you into the hands of brutal men, men skilled in destruction. You will be fuel for the fire. Your blood will be shed in your land. You will be remembered no more. For I, the Lord, have spoken. Ezekiel chapter 22 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, will you judge her? Will you judge this city of bloodshed? Then confront her with all her detestable practices and say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, You city that brings on herself doom by shedding blood in her midst and defiles herself by making idols. You have become guilty because of the blood you have shed, and have become defiled by the idols you have made. You have brought your days to a close, and the end of your years has come. Therefore, I will make you an object of scorn to the nations, and a laughingstock to all the countries. Those who are near and those who are far away will mock you, you infamous city, full of turmoil. See how each of the princes of Israel who are in you, uses his power to shed blood. In you they have treated father and mother with contempt. In you they have oppressed the foreigner and ill-treated the fatherless and the widow. You have despised my holy things and desecrated my Sabbaths. In you are slanderers who are bent on shedding blood. In you are those who eat at the mountain shrines and commit lewd acts. In you are those who dishonor their father's bed. In you are those who violate women during their period when they are ceremonially unclean. In you, one man commits a detestable offense with his neighbor's wife, another shamefully defiles his daughter-in-law, and another violates his sister, his own father's daughter. In you are people who accept bribes to shed blood. You take interest and make a profit from the poor. You extort unjust gain from your neighbors, and you have forgotten me, declares the Sovereign Lord. I will surely strike my hands together at the unjust gain you have made and at the blood you have shed in your midst. Will your courage endure or your hands be strong in the day I deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. I will disperse you among the nations and scatter you through the countries, and I will put an end to your uncleanness. When you have been defiled in the eyes of the nations, you will know that I am the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, the people of Israel have become dross to me. All of them are the copper, tin, iron, and lead left inside a furnace. They are but the dross of silver. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because you have all become dross, I will gather you into Jerusalem. As silver, copper, iron, lead, and tin are gathered into a furnace to be melted with a fiery blast, so will I gather you in my anger and my wrath, 
and put you inside the city and melt you. I will gather you, and I will blow on you with my fiery wrath, and you will be melted inside her. As silver is melted in a furnace, so you will be melted inside her, and you will know that I, the Lord, have poured out my wrath on you. Again the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the land, You are a land that has not been cleansed or rained on in the day of wrath. There is a conspiracy of her princes within her, like a roaring lion tearing its prey. They devour people, take treasures and precious things, and make many widows within her. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They do not distinguish between the holy and the common. They teach that there is no difference between the unclean and the clean, and they shut their eyes to the keeping of my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her officials within her are like wolves tearing their prey. They shed blood and kill people to make unjust gain. Her prophets whitewash these deeds for them by false visions and lying divinations. They say, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, when the Lord has not spoken. The people of the land practice extortion and commit robbery. They oppress the poor and needy and ill-treat the foreigner, denying them justice. I looked for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so that I would not have to destroy it. But I found no one. So I will pour out my wrath on them and consume them with my fiery anger, bringing down on their own heads all they have done, declares the Sovereign Lord. One John One John, Chapter One That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared, we have seen it and testified to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar and his word is not in us. Psalm 115 Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Why do the nations say, Where is their God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever pleases him. But their idols are silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, noses but cannot smell. They have hands but cannot feel, feet but cannot walk, nor can they utter a sound with their throats. Those who make them will be like them, and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and shield. You who fear him, trust in the Lord. 
He is their help and shield. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless his people Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, small and great alike. May the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. The highest heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to the human race. It is not the dead who praise the Lord, those who go down to the place of silence. It is we who extol the Lord, both now and evermore. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 2 My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding, indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He holds success in store for the upright. He is a shield to those whose way of life is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Then you will understand what is right and just and fair. Every good path. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Discretion will protect you, and understanding will guard you. Wisdom will save you from the ways of wicked men, for men whose words are perverse, who have left the straight paths to walk in dark ways, who delight in doing wrong and rejoice in the perverseness of evil, whose paths are crooked and who are devious in their ways. Wisdom will save you also from the adulterous woman, from the wayward woman with her seductive words, who has left the partner of her youth and ignored the covenant she made before God. Surely her house leads down to death and her paths to the spirits of the dead. None who go to her return or attain the paths of life. Thus you will walk in the ways of the good and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will live in the land and the blameless will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the unfaithful will be torn from it. <laughs>